When Lotus first came to us and asked about this project, we were very excited on a number of fronts. It's a great thing to be back together with Lotus, obviously our, our history is so intertwined. Secondly, it was a fantastic opportunity for us to, to breathe life back into um, some race engines that had been retired from race activity. They make great museum pieces, but sometimes it's, it's great to hear them on the track. We needed something that was going to be very powerful, but at the same time wasn't quite so high maintenance as a Formula One engine. Um, and the thing which is perfect for that is an Indy racing engine. An Indy racing engine demands that you have a very strong bottom end, uh, which is, is critical to allowing the sort of flexibility and the, the low maintenance regime that we were trying to get to allow the driver to get sort of maximum seat time and less time paying the bills and, uh, and waiting for the mechanics to warm the engine. We've chosen to designate this engine for the T125, the uh, GP V8, obviously, um, harking back to all of our history through Formula One. The engine is going to be running on an all-new management system, so we have to do all of the calibration necessary to make the engine work with that new set of electronics, make the engine work with gasoline instead of methanol, make the engine work um, at a bigger capacity. We're going to rebuild the engines at 3,000 kilometres, we need to be absolutely sure that they will survive 3,000 kilometers. Um, and so we're going to do three separate endurance tests where we take the engine and we will run the engine for 3,000 kilometers uh, on the dyno three times so that when we say to the driver, you're good for another 500 kilometers or whatever, then we're entirely confident that that is the case. So it's a, it's a two-phase thing. It's, it's performance development and endurance uh, preparation. It's only circa 100 horsepower behind a, a current state-of-the-art Formula One engine that you see go around uh, the tracks around the world every weekend. Um, and in that respect, it's, it's in a whole different league to a road car engine. And you couple that with the, the weight of the car, a combination of that very huge power and very low weight would be, would be quite breathtaking. And it is a piece of history. The way the engine is installed in the T125 is exactly the same as the first success of Lotus and Cosworth when uh, Colin Chapman's Lotus 49 was first matched with Keith and Mike's um, Cosworth DFV. And that construction overnight in 1967 um, sort of changed the world of motor racing and became de rigueur and pretty much every race car since then has, has had that construction. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing one of these painted up in, uh, in uh, Lotus green with the yellow wheels. <laughs> And uh, I think, yeah, I think it'll be a great moment to, uh, to see the two names back together.